if you are watching this and you're still in a crypto well give yourself a nice pat on the back because you've just made it through one of the first tests in this cycle we're going to give you guys all the information about what's to come what i believe where we are in this cycle we're going to go through some altcoins going to go through what i have recently purchased so if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash the like button and of course if you want more value have a look at our discord we have a vip section where you get access to early projects so prior to them launching to the public you're going to be able to see what i am doing with my money so much more and on top of that we still have our free discord all of those links are in the description below so if you take a look at your crypto portfolio today you are probably very happy and you're probably even more happy if you dollar cost average yesterday when i actually did it myself i did it yesterday as well as two days ago and I was talking about this in my Discord. We were monitoring the price of Bitcoin, and this is what we're seeing altcoins today. We are basically bouncing, and that is a great sign of relief for people who are invested in altcoins and crypto as well. So if we just kind of take a trip down memory lane and exactly what has happened over the last few days well as you guys know we were very much so at the top here around 71,500 for the better part of you know the last month or so end of may beginning of june we were right around this 71,500 and over the last three weeks or so these are weekly candles we have only seen downside pressure. Now, you know, there was so much FUD in the market. Obviously, when there is a downside action to anything, people start, you know, panicking, emotions get in the way, and people, you know, think it's the end of the world and Bitcoin is going back down to zero. But ultimately, we were talking about crucial levels of Bitcoin support. We had highlighted this 60,000, even around 58,400, and it wicked perfectly to that level. And as we can see now, Bitcoin has bounced from these levels, sitting around $62,000. Now, of course, we're not back to all time highs. It doesn't really matter too much. What really matters to me is that Bitcoin has held this level and it hasn't continued going down and started a more panic selling and more liquidation. So we are at a very, very nice level right now for Bitcoin. And again, if you put things into perspective and we really zoom out as to, you know, where we are in terms of a market cycle, because again, the only thing we can do right now with market cycle is look at history because history is the only thing we have. So historically speaking, we have a cycle every four years that coincides with the Bitcoin halving. The halving this year happened in April of 2024. So it's been about two months and a bit. Now, if we take a look at 2021, the cycle here, the halving happened in May, but prior to this, we had about a 76% dip on Bitcoin because of the COVID crash and people probably thought the end was near. Then we have the halving and we have a massive 2021. But what I do want to point out here too is that during 2021, after the Bitcoin halving, so just before the peaks of 2021, we had some dips. It wasn't all, you know, good and dandy it wasn't always just a straight up to highlight one of these dips bitcoin did go down about 21 percent back in september of 2020 so i just want to emphasize here that even though you know we get these dips on bitcoin we get dips on altcoins I do believe that we are still in this early phase of the cycle and the reason I say this is because we are only about two months into the Bitcoin halving and like I said time and time again we have many different events coming up. The first one is the spot Ethereum ETFs. Who knows when those are going to be tradable, but it could be as early as one week. Now, secondly, again, we are only two months into the cycle. And typically speaking, looking at history, because again, history is the only thing we have here. It takes about 550 days 
for the market cycle to reach its peak from the Bitcoin having. So back in 2017, this is what we see here. We have 532 days roughly until we hit a Bitcoin high. For 2021, 553 days until we reach a high. And now we are literally only like 60 some days into the cycle. To give you that precise measurement, if I can find my tool, I'm going to give you exactly the date range that we are right now. How many days has it been since the cycle? Well, it's only been 70 days. So we still have about 480 days, you know, roughly speaking, if this cycle is similar to the previous two cycles. So this again puts us around the October 2025 range for the peak of this bull market and that is something that nobody knows but we are going to have to wait and as bitcoin continues to consolidate in these levels you know between this 60,000 to 71,000 it kind of just slows things down because bitcoin went crazy prior to having with the spot bitcoin etfs everything was accelerated but as we have seen it is now slowing down catching up to history and setting itself up for that next move because if things go up way too quickly they're gonna come down way quicker as well so to highlight the recent events on the spot ethereum etfs and when they are going to start trading as we know the earliest date that was you know given out in news releases or speculation was july 2nd prior to the independence day which is july 4th on the american side and here over the day yesterday we have the sec chair gary gensler saying that the process to spot ethereum etf approval is going smoothly now of course he doesn't give more details to that he basically just says that everything is going well and again july 2nd is in literally less than a week from now so who knows how quick this is going to move and if they're going to be able to you know have these etfs trading before the american long weekend with july 4th but ultimately, it's still a matter of when and not if. Now, again, reiterating what has happened throughout the week. Well, we have these issuers of, you know, the spot Ethereum ETFs. All of these people want to have their own ETF. They've all applied for their application. The 19B4 filings have been approved. The S1 filings, which is step two to this spot Ethereum process for their tradability, these issuers have sent modifications or updated versions of their s1 filings this was following the sec asking for this so all of these have been submitted since june 21st then yesterday we have gary gensler saying everything is going pretty smoothly so you know you put one and one together these things are coming very fast. So if you wanted to have a sneak peek as to what we are doing in our VIP community, well, we are all about private sales and all about giving you guys value in any way, shape or form that is. So we are offering so many different, you know, opportunities to get in on projects early on. We are partnered with many different VCs. We are trying our best to give you the best valuation possible, but we have done so many different deals over the last few months. We are also definitely giving you guys information on upcoming projects. We have a bunch of different upcoming projects. We do run interest checks and give you guys, you know, the opportunity to show interest in these new projects. We try and get the best prices for you as well. And you also can get a sneak peek as to what I do with my own money. So recently I've been, you know, buying with. I bought some more again yesterday at around $1.79. This morning or yesterday morning, I actually dollar cost averaged in a few other plays that I hold for, you know, the longer term in these smaller altcoins. But ultimately, this is a sneak peek of our VIP Discord. So if we bring things back to our altcoins, well, let's take a look at the total altcoin market cap, excluding Bitcoin, excluding Ethereum. Here we see that, you know, we have highlighted this level time and time again ever since the, you know, crash in mid-April, even a crash at the beginning of May. We have relatively been able to hold this level 
yes there are wicks down here but right now the market cap is around at 600 billion altogether so i'm continuing to monitor this we've obviously seen altcoins rally and one of the ones i am definitely looking at with the spot ethereum etfs coming out shortly is ethereum so this one you know it held support on this 100 day moving average it's around 3400 it wicked all the way down to about a 3250 which is absolutely crazy continue monitoring this there could be something very similar that happens to ethereum once these etfs go live there could be a dump kind of a sell the news event but ultimately we saw that with bitcoin too and bitcoin went absolutely crazy once you know these etfs started trading so definitely monitor ethereum i see new all-time highs absolutely for ethereum in this peak bull market and if we take a look at one of the reasons i was purchasing with yesterday well as we can see it did definitely bottom around a dollar 50 and ever since then we see a volume picking up we definitely see, you know, with going from $1.50 all the way to $2.06 right now, around $1.79. The reason for that, you know, we were right around this small level of consolidation. So I was kind of just waiting on this level to break. And as it broke, I definitely did purchase a bit more, continuing to dollar cost average because I was actually purchasing with all the way at around $2.50 two dollars and 25 cents so you know we're definitely still down on this position but i do believe that solana and whiff go hand in hand and i'm bullish on solana so ultimately i am going to be bullish on whiff and i would imagine that whiff is easily able to bring back its price and its market cap back to these all-time highs now if we continue on the same line of thought and we think about solana this thing is again bouncing very well of support we went as low as 121 dollars right now it's sitting at around 138 dollars and what do we see we see this time and time again you know we have a perfect example of this mid april crash then beginning of may and then again late parts of june we have this level we also have it back here right around you know march 2024 so we have levels of support just pull out a chart and you can easily identify this so what i'm expecting next for solana is probably for it to continue crawling up here hitting some resistance on this 100 day ema it's going to need some volume to push through this but ultimately solana is definitely looking like it has a bottom to four now and if we take a look at the solana slash bitcoin relationship this is also another tool i like to use as i'm doing you know my research and looking at different charts and as we can see right now well we again had a perfect you know support level right around this we can see it once again time and time again it's able to hold this support as the relationship between solana and bitcoin it is not creating lower lows it's holding support where it has to and as it hits support it does come back now one of the ones that you know is still not performing as i want it to perform is avalanche this one here you know i'm super bullish on it just for the rwa space for the gaming space for the partnerships they have with banks and so on and so forth i do believe avax is going to come back and it is going to come back strong although the chart isn't saying that and the reason i want to you know bring it up compare it to solana which has bounced very nicely avax you know went all the way down to 2375 roughly it's around 2550 right now but if we take a look at its relationship to bitcoin this is what we don't see on solana's chart so you know avax was right around this support level for the better part of the last few you know weeks into the mid parts of may all the way to the end of may and it unfortunately broke below here so we definitely saw more downside pressure to avax than solana so hopefully it's able to come back here re-establish this as support but like I said, this is just to show you that, you know, AVAX is hurting a lot more than Solana. And again, it's not to say that I'm bearish on AVAX. I literally quite just bought more this morning. 
but ultimately this is you know showing a lot more weakness compared to a coin like Solana. Now, last but not least, so when we get dips like this, you are going to get coins that are going to get destroyed. But on the flip side, when things bounce back, these same coins, and I'm talking about meme coins, they are going to rally and rally very quickly. If we take a look at some of the leading coins in this recent 24 hour bounce, well, we can see that the top three are actually meme coins. The top 10, probably seven of them are meme coins. So if we take a look at these, we have Brett, number one meme coin on a base. We have Whiff, number one meme coin on Solana, and we have Pepe, number one meme coin on Ethereum. So yes, meme coins got absolutely destroyed over the last few weeks. But again, had you been following me and what I've been talking about with Brett and even Pepe, we had some key levels on each of our charts. And as we are, you know, seeing Bitcoin continue to go down, altcoins plummeted very quickly at first, then kind of slowed down over the last few days. Well, those were definitely some key opportunities for you to dabble in if you, of course, have money that you're willing to lose because, you know, the cryptocurrency space is a volatile. We've seen it over the last few weeks. You can lose all of your money. So that's why I always say only invest money that you can afford to lose. But these opportunities are going to present themselves. And that is one of the ways that I am, you know, trying to get in at the best spot possible not necessarily timing the exact bottom because again with whiff i got in at a dollar 79 not a dollar 50 but still catching some of that momentum back up and again we have bark we have book of meme all of these you know meme coins are just blowing up and then we have you know some of the other larger caps such as jupiter theta we have beam we have a cash and so on and so forth so Definitely keep an eye out on all of your favorite altcoins. Look at their levels. Look at the leading and laggers of different spaces. If we just take a look at AI, we have AIT protocol up about 35% over the last 24 hours. And if we take a look at, you know, one that's not doing as well, we have Ether. Well, of course, there's going to be dilution on Ether. But we also have other coins here that may be they were just lagging behind and they could see, you know, their move anytime soon. But all in all, I am excited to see that Bitcoin has held support. Definitely wait for this daily candle to close here above. It is, in my opinion, going to solidify the bottom here, the local bottom at least. And, you know, we're going to see what comes next. Again, don't forget the spot Ethereum ETFs may be coming a lot sooner than we think so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button i truly appreciate all of the support you know we're all in this together i am not claiming that i know everything so as we are building our community you know we're feeding off each other we're all trying to make it at the end of the day in this bull market Taking some profits along the way is ultimately key, but if you are interested in joining our community, remember, links are in the description below. We still have our free Discord. We're active on there as well. So if you are new, definitely consider subscribing, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.